So let's just talk to this guy first, I think. Unless I can look at anything else. Magic lamp. Let's touch the magic lamp. Oh, well, no genie in that lamp. Um, let's have a look, see. Let's talk. Let's just talk. What are they doing speaking to the mirror? Oh, that's enough. Hey, mirror, vanish! Cancel! Oh, what the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody Shut line. Shut up, Frog. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son, but right now we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. What are you going to do about it, Frog? TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? <laughs> Such a hassle. Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. Oh, my, I'm going to slap this guy. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a this good be nice kid, too. TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> no, let's be nice to her. It's okay, son. <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on! I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause, cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Fuck, how deep is this river? Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait. You heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Do you know whose voice it was? No. 
No, oh, he's getting a bit upset. Let's let him go. Sheriff. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Nah, see, let's not be too bad. Especially not to kids. The assholes like Toodle D and all the rest of it, yeah. Do you think it did that bad or thing, Tom? That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Hell yeah! Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. The head? Great. <laughs> almost forgot your head. That's quite funny. Witching well. This is cool. Why is it here? Let's go and have a look at the witching well. Quite a fine well. Not as fine as Snow White, though. Oh, yeah. My god, could you walk any slower? It's got the same earrings, same outfit, and everything. I didn't realize. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. <laughs> All right, let's do what I need to do. Somebody brooched there? That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Hmm. Looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Oh yeah, is that how he's doing it, is it? Running. Tests. Uh huh. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth too. Anything? Nothing. So it's not exactly the same. No, oh, check her out. She's freaking. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. I think we're done here, we're not. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume? He's I a freaking wolf. You can't fool this nose. Anything else? Do you see yes. that? Could be a bruise. Could be a love bite. It's a love bite. That's what it is. Right, let's get out of here. I'm trying to go this way. Or oh, let's press right. Yeah, let's press right. Oh, right, we can move down the body. Oh, okay. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. 
Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Hmm. Let's open up and see what this is. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Okay. Ooh, some some panties. <laughs> You're still okay. I Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. Now that you're done smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? The glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. Lingerie. Let's have a look at the lingerie. I wonder if uh, Snow wears something like that. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? Just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Yeah, but she bet she's a cotton panties type girl. What is okay. that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So someone gave her instructions. Plenty of pockets in this coat. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Hmm. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Uh... Smash it. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, cool. We got a puzzle. That's cool. Oh, that was easy. Fuck me. It's like a wolfy type looking thing or a deer. Yeah, it's a stag. A deer. Or a deer. Fuck you. What does that mean? Oh. Hair. Her hair. Maybe. Who's the girl in the picture? Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Oh yeah, let's just fold it back up into its little button. Look at the hair. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Big P? What the hell? I think the glamour's better now. She's a troll? Ugh. Kidding me. She's a big bitch. All right, you can calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Who knows? 
The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Oh, right. shit. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe that's a bad choice. Yeah, we might have fucked it up there, bros. That could be my downfall of this uh, episode. Letting Snow come with me. Although, I might have said, Yo, Snow, you stay where you are. She might have said, Fuck you, I'm coming anyway, so. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. Holly, I need entertainment. This'll do. <laughs> She's hyped herself. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Big B, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to- Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. It's like Jack. Holly's like Jack and the Beanstalk, maybe? been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy. Ah, fuck. What'd I do? It's an honest question. Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grin, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right, Jack. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this. Be gentle. So, so stuff. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If 
you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been. Down. All right, clear out. Give her some room. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Oh fuck, what's she gonna do? Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. Covered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Yeah, before you get your arm ripped off again, bitch. <clears throat> I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. <laughs> Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. But cream we frequently can just go place. check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. So we're good with her. She was glamoured to look like Snow White, cause she, she was really looking at. Thanks. So people were like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck Snow easier. White tonight. I'm telling you, a bit Crane was there. <laughs> Tell you, that bar was fucked up since our last fight. Why don't I have a car? Oh, here we go. Pudding and pie. Oh, 
Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's walk. in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. Mm -hmm. So I've heard. Be like ladies first. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. They're not like a fuck proper studio. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn well, I didn't expect to see pets in this game, but okay. It's your job. It's all good, man. You want them to feel happy. You want them to think you 